Hey everybody out there, this is Seto, and today for you guys, I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update on where I've been, what's been going on. I know in the last couple of videos, some of you guys have made a, some comments saying, yeah, I was wondering what happened. You kind of disappeared for a bit, just out of the blue. Well, I always try to communicate in the community tab, and I'm always up front with you guys on things that happen, so I wanted to make this video. Uh, just a little video here to give you guys an update on what's going on, what we're doing, what we're moving forward with. So, to let you guys know what happened is, pretty much at the beginning of April, one of my videos got hit. It was a strike. Some other channel, I will not mention names, but some other channel struck my video and started striking other videos of mine. Uh, saying that the content that I had personally created, as you guys know, I don't even do editing, so I don't know how they can claim content that's my content that I recorded, claimed that the content that I had created was their content and demanded that I take down the videos. Well, I took one of them down because I was like, okay, and then they started striking the other videos. I don't know if somebody had it out for me or not, but it was kind of annoying. So I had to take recourse as such to make sure that this did not happen further. Uh, luckily, uh, YouTube upheld that this was my content and not somebody else's content, um, and I was able to keep all my other videos and re-upload my Wind Witch deck profile, which is where this all began with. But it was very annoying, and it gets disheartening when you know you make content that's your own content that you created, that you spent time putting the deck together, creating the deck, doing the research on the deck, testing the deck. Uh, maybe updating the deck, trying out different tech options that you like compared to what somebody else maybe did, and doing all these things, which, believe it, guys, takes a good afternoon or two to do a week, um, and then being told that's not your content. It's not a fun feeling. And I kind of got soured, and I said, I need to take a break because I just don't feel like being enthusiastic about doing deck profiles. Even though, guys, you have to understand that I actually have had a lot of decks in the pipeline ready to go. I just got done doing an Ojama deck profile that you guys will probably see tomorrow. I have Arch Fiends. I have a Water Shark based deck. I have a Tour Guide deck I'm working on. I, ha I even have a... I have a lot of stuff I'm building, okay? Uh, a Galaxy Guys update deck profile. I have Black Wings even I got over here. I have a lot of things that I'm working on. And some of these have been in the pipeline for two months plus. But what happened was, this happened. I had some deck profiles even ready to rock and roll. And I just didn't feel like even recording because you, you were like, is it going to get hit again? And it wasn't a fun feeling. So I decided to take about a month and a half break because I just was not feeling like even recording. And I kept tabs on the community tab every week or so, but I just did not feel like even making a profile, a deck profile discussion or anything. And I had thought about literally just walking away from Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, to some degree until I said, you know what, I love this. It doesn't take up a lot of time right now in my life. Eventually, yeah, I'll probably will walk away, or at least I won't be as active in the Yu-Gi-Oh! community as with recordings. But that time is not now, nor do I want it to be in the near future, you know, for the most part, because this does not take up a large portion of my time. Two evenings in the entire week is not a lot of time compared to all the other things I got going on, and I always have time to either do discussion talks, which don't take much time, or time to make a video, you know, at least one deck profile per week, right? I do two ter currently because I don't have a lot going on because of Crush Card, but alas, you understand my understanding, you know, I'm not walking away full time from Yu-Gi-Oh!, but it was just frustrating that this happened and you've poured so much effort in the channel growing and then somebody decides to hit your channel because I don't know why. I tried to email the person and they blocked my email so I couldn't even respond to them hitting my own video, which was even more annoying because you're like, hey, why did you hit my video? Oh, I'm gonna block you so you can't respond. It wasn't a fun pretty picture. I was very angry and it was very disheartening. Um, people ask me, are you okay? And I'm like, yeah, I'm fine. I just don't feel like recording after being hit. Still have all my Yu-Gi-Oh stuff, but it was just annoying. So, wanted to give you guys an update. We are going to be continuing to do 
videos. I have some, like I just discussed, I have a bunch of deck profiles I'm working on right now. I have Black Wings somewhere around over here. I think I have them right here. I have Arch Fiends I'm working on. I have freaking UAs that I'm working on right now too. I have a lot of decks I'm working on. Like I said, I just got done with an Ojama deck profile that should be up this week coming out. So there's a lot of things I'm working on that are about to come to fruition. I've just been kind of not in the mood to record. So thank you all for the support. I'm hoping that we can push through to 16K that rate later in the next couple of months, which would be awesome for this channel. I never thought it would be at 16K. That's awesome after, you know, doing this for years. But till next time, guys, take care. Have fun dueling. Good luck dueling. Thank you all for the support. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care, everybody.